Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, Cancer, just try to do your video, and this is for like third time. Every time I try to do your video, something's happened. But we will try this again. So now you won't get all my cards up right. I want to see what's going on with you guys. Um, we're gonna give your cards a crazy shuffle. High Priestess kept coming out. There is a secret. Something that either you or your partner is keeping, but there's maybe a third party involvement, or there is someone thinking about traveling towards someone, and there are going to be a lot of communications had, and maybe it's between a Taurus, a Libra, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They were very strong in your reading. Now, let's see. I'm going to do two spreads for you guys, so let's just jump right into it. Thank you guys for being so supportive um, and motivating. I really appreciate all of you guys. I had to do that video. I feel a lot better after I did it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings so I can go ahead and get them up and take advantage of the time that my internet is <laughs> uploading back to normal speed. Alright, so you could be dealing with a Taurus, Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. How you guys are currently seeing yourself right now, yeah. There's a lot of anxiety or worry or, you know, some kind of um, a grief. <clears throat> you could be battling through some type of depression where you feel like your partner is. This could be external environments or this could have something to do with your partner. How your partner is seeing themselves right now is not really getting what they... I feel like they have to, either they're spying on you guys or feel like, you know, they're not really, um, they're coming off a little bit cold maybe towards you guys and maybe causing you or giving you anxiety. They're not exactly being fair. Um, the secret on your part is you guys are very happy with this person or you have found a relationship you uh, really want to begin. Um, this could be with an old partner, but there's definitely a lot of love, a lot of joy, either at home or with someone else. This is, you know, celebrating something or having undying love for this partner, regardless of the fact that you guys are maybe up and having sleepless nights worried about something. The secret on your partner's side is that Tower Reverse. There was something that they were expecting, so it's not a total shock to them. But I feel like there is going to be a fresh new opportunity for both of you guys, but both of you guys are very on guard towards each other and maybe a little bit defensive. How you might move forward in this relationship or what you are thinking about doing now is thinking about, maybe this is why you have the anxiety card, you're thinking about giving someone bad news. Um, some kind of unfavorable message, or you have just recently received one. Um, how your partner might move... Okay, and they're very confused. They have the hangman here, but in reverse. So they are going to think about it, but I feel like they're going to... You know, when it's in the reverse, they're coming off of that tree. They're going to make a decision soon if they haven't said anything to you guys. There will be... They're trying to look at things from a different point of view. They are trying to reassess everything that's going on, and that's why they have the tower here in reverse. There's something here they were already anticipating. Um, kind of gave them an emotional shock, but it wasn't like, you know, some, a big, huge surprise. They were kind of already feeling this way. Um, you, they were maybe being a little bit manipulative in the past. Someone who breaks boundaries, someone who's up to no good, or they feel feel like you were doing this. But where the relationship is right now is there's been a separation. How you guys think of each other, well, neither of you guys right now are at this place where you can um, feel like their hands are tied and they need to make a decision, you and your partner, but there's something here that tells me, because I saw a lot of distance earlier, Someone needs to make a head over heart decision or somebody has an Aries, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius somewhere involved in this reading. Um, that's kind of making, you know, you and your partner uh, separate. There is this feeling of needing to make a decision soon or possibly a choice, but 
the secret on your side is that you guys do have a dying love for this person. And your partner here is like going through a tower moment. So <laughs> I feel like, you know, they know that, you know, this is also, uh, they feel the same way almost. But you guys are definitely more emotional if you're dealing with fire or earth sign. So I feel like you guys both are reprocessing things, but there are more anxiety and um, worries on your part. But they need to make a decision soon. I feel like both of you guys will communicate very soon if you guys haven't already. So let's look at your Celtic cross. Okay, so you're both trying to let go. If not, you're trying to let go of the situation or a person. There's, you know, moving to calmer waters and wanting to let go of something. This is something that you know wasn't working in your favor. And you feel like, you know, whatever, there there was, I feel like you're, someone's feeling like this isn't a teamwork. There's no longer a partnership feeling. And that's why someone is wanting to leave the troubles behind. What's crossing you is someone is going to um, feel very... Um, they feel like there's going to be difficulties. Uh, crossing is, you know, someone making false promises. Someone unable to keep promises and maybe there is a possible cancellation. Um, why it's all happening is because, yeah, the anxiety card. But it's lessening. Someone was once having a lot of sleepless nights over this whole issue. And to them, they feel like, you know, um, there's some kind of a loss here. There's good news coming, but it's the end of suffering. That's how either you or your partner is feeling. In the recent past, you guys have justice reversed. Either you guys were dealing with a core issue or something that was very unfavorable, either on you or your partner's behalf. It was not a win-win situation. But this was definitely a cause and effect, and it hit somebody, either you or your partner or both. Um, what you're thinking about right now is the sun. You're staying very optimistic, and that is very awesome. Despite all these cards, you guys know that there is a fresh new beginning that's coming. And, you know, you know that this is a good opportunity for something. You, you see this as, you know, somewhat as an advantage on your behalf. Or you feel like, you know, um, new things are coming. And this, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know, it is literally um, <clears throat> rainbow after the storm. Or you could be thinking about Aaliyah. Coming towards you is someone, and I feel like this is the missed opportunity or a cancellation. Someone is definitely going to make uh, the decision to bail. And you guys will have, I feel like you guys made a decision to do something too soon. And now you're reconsidering it, but you want to move slowly. I feel like someone wants to, you guys to make a decision right now, but... You guys are like, I can't right now. I need to think about it. Because in your environment, yeah, they're not happy. Someone is feeling rejected or turned down or they feel like they have to turn you down. This could go either way. So this is a general love reading, guys. You could be on whichever side that I say. All right. And the cards here, strong earth signs, Libra and Leo so far and your hopes and fears is that you guys will be able to charge forward despite everything that's happened Queen of Wands is very energetic she's very social and she's very daring I feel like that's got that's what you guys want you want to leave all the troubles and everything here in the past but I feel like someone in your past is like giving you guys issues again and your outcome is the lovers so for a few of you guys are strongly dealing with a Gemini. But if you're not dealing with Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, this just means that you guys have a decision to make about partners, options. You guys have someone you need to, you know, think about in terms of partnership. But you do have deep love for someone and is trying to balance 
something together. And yeah, there is going to be a rejection either by you or it's coming to you. Alright, so if you guys know that you're not rejecting someone, then it could be a possibility that this is what your partner is doing to you because they have the Knight of Cups here in reverse. And you guys are a water sign. Chemistry. I feel like you're very sexually attracted to someone, but at the same time, maybe, yeah, see for yourself and keep an open mind. For a few of you guys, it's a, it's really difficult for you guys to let go of somebody, and you're trying to free yourself from a soulmate. Um, but there's also somebody here that's involved already, and you're trying to keep an open mind because you have strong chemical sexual attractions towards this person, physical looks, emotional satisfaction, whatever it is, but you have to give the bad news to someone or they are doing this to you in the near future. But the second card that I saw, I feel like for a few of you guys, a new lover is coming in, but you need to let your friends help you deal with the current issue that is going on in the present moment right now because there's something here that's going to happen later on for you guys after you deal with all of this mess. <laughs> but just know that if you guys have, deal have been dealing with a divorce, a separation, a legal issue for a while already, because it's giving you a lot of anxieties, worry, distress, a slow new beginning is approaching you guys, but you have to let go of all these burdens in order to get here. Because right after that was the moon. And express your love. Everything here is like saying like exactly like what I'm saying. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I hope to help and I'll see you later. Bye guys.